Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Sayas. Website digitalteachers.co.ug. YouTube channel Digital Teachers Uganda. Phone plus two five six seven seven eight six three three six eight two. I'm a teacher at the best secondary school which is the Science Foundation College contact person 2567580 the best primary school to give your child a scientific foundation is local of ages primary school the administrator is 256-772-849-106. Today, 4th October 2020, we are going to continue with the movement. Lesson 2 of 2. Movement in vertebrates. This is brought about by contraction and relaxation of antagonistic muscles. For example, the movement of the arm is brought about by contraction and relaxation of biceps muscle and triceps muscles. The hand to be lifted, the biceps muscle contract, the triceps muscle relax. The arm to be lower D, the triceps muscle contract, the biceps muscle Relax. Locomotion in animals requires three things. One, propulsion. Animals are propelled by sufficient force in appropriate direction. Two, support. The animal must be supported by its body acting against the particular medium in which it lives. Very stability. The animal may become unstable temporarily while moving. But eventually stability must be restored. Support on land. The animal is supported by its limbs off the ground especially when these limbs are directly straight beneath the body. Stability on land. A tetrapod is stable when its four limbs are planted square on the ground beneath the body. However, it becomes unstable when only three limbs remain on the ground during Motion. To keep the center of gravity under the body during motion, the sequence of the limbs is the left hand limb, left fore limb, right hand limb, right fore limb. For instance, in the tetrapod below, the order of movement of the leg is either free left hand limb, one left fore limb, Four, right hand limb and two right four limb or one four two three or two three one four two three one four locomotion in the water water is the most dense media an organism can live thus it offers a lot of Resistance. Adaptations of organisms to live in the water. One, have streamlined body to reduce resistance. Two, the body is covered with mucus to lubricate the body. Support in the fish. Bony fish are made buoyant by a gas filled swimming blood by adjusting the amount of air 
in this bladder, fish is able to stay at a required depth. Cartilaginous fish such as shark on the other hand lack swimming bladder. They sink if they stopped swimming. Therefore, support comes from the process of swimming its self. For this reason, bony fish are better swimmer than cartilaginous fish because for them they can control the level of depth at which they can swim by changing the amount of air in the swimming bladder. Propulsion in a fish, it is brought about by side to side rushing of the tail or caudal fin caused by contraction and relaxation of antagonistic muscles called myotomes. So if you have got the bones, you have got myotome. The myotomes on one side are antagonistic to the myotomes on the other side. When this myotome contract, this myotome relax. So it goes this way, it goes that way, it goes this way, it goes that way. The contraction and relaxation of myotomes are coordinated by the central nervous system. Stability in a fish. Fish faces three kinds of instability. One, yawing, side to side oscillation of the front part of the body resulting from the propulsion action of the tail. It is counteracted by general massiveness of the head, lateral flattening, and ventral fins. Two, pitching all tendons of the front end to plug vertically downward. It is counteracted by horizontal fins. Fini rolling all rotation about the horizontal axis. It is counteracted by vertical and horizontal fins. Locomotion in the air. Air has the least density and provides the least support. Adaptation is of the bird to flight has phasers that aid flight by providing large surface area to the wings for flapping air. Two, hollow bones reduce weight. Three, bones are fused to reduce flexibility such that a bird flies as one entity. Four, two fillets big reduce weight. Five, has strong flight muscles. Six, has streamlined body. Seven, flapping of wings provide force for flight. The diagram below is a front view of a pigeon skeleton showing insertion of flight muscles. Flapping of body's wing all active flight. The powerful depressor muscle pulls the wing downwards and gives the bird an uplift. Contraction of elevator muscle and relaxation of depressor muscle makes the wings to go up. The muscle, it is made of a hundred of muscle fibers of various lengths. An isolated muscle fiber is filled with a specialized cytoplasm called sarcoplasm, in which about a hundred nuclei are spaced out evenly beneath the surrounding membrane or sarcolemma. Numerous parallel striations transverse the fiber from one end to another. Fine structure of the muscle. The muscle is made of small units called myofibril. 
When one myofibril is observed in an electron microscope, the station is seen as light and darker band. Each darker band has a comparatively light region in the middle called H zone. There are darker regions on either side of the H zone. Running across the middle of the H zone is a dark line called M line. Transversing the middle of the light band is another dark line called Z line. The region of myofibril between the two Z lines is called sarcomere. The sarcomere is the functional unit of the muscle. The sarcomere is the functional unit of the muscle. It is made up of numerous thick and thin filaments. The thick filaments are confined in the dark band, while the thin filaments occur in light band but extend into the dark band. The region on either side of the H zone is darker because it contains both thick and thin filaments. The H zone contains thick filaments only. So the H zone is relatively lighter than the regions on either side of it because the regions on either side of it contains both thick and thin filaments. Chemical nature of the muscle. The thick filaments are made of a protein called myosin, while the thin filaments are made of a protein called actin. How the muscle contracts? One, contraction of the muscle is initiated by the arrival of an impulse at the neuromuscular junction. Two, this causes influx of calcium ions into presynaptic knob from synaptic cleft, leading to the release of acetylcholine from synaptic vesicles. Three, acetylcholine depolarizes the muscle fiber. The impulse generated thereof is transmitted via the T-tubes of the sarcoplasm. Five, calcium ions are released from sarcoplasmic reticulum to the muscle fibers. Calcium ions initiate contraction of the muscle by binding troponin. Tropomyosin shifts from the actin binding site and the myosin head get instantly attached to the binding site of the actin filament leading to contraction of the muscles. During the contraction, the actin and the myosin filament will slide over one another, shortening the muscle. Relaxation of the muscle. One, after the action potential, acetylcholine stress is released and break down acetylcholine. Two, the sarcolemma and T-tubes depolarize. Three, calcium gates close and calcium pumps remove calcium from the cytoplasm and from troponin. Four, Troponin regains its normal shape and allows tropomyosin to cover the actin myosin binding sites on actin filaments. Six, the cross bridges break between the filaments, allowing the muscle to passively relax. During the relaxation, the slide out, lengthening the muscle fiber. Thank you so much for watching this video.
please find related videos on YouTube channel Digital Teachers Uganda. When you go to YouTube channel, where there is a search, type in Digital Teachers Uganda, then you'll be given groups of related videos. Or go to our website, digitalteachers.co.ug. Here you will find notes, exams, and their marking guides. Please subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school for sciences is the Science Foundation College. Telephone plus 256-753-8027-09. The best primary school is Lock of Ages Primary School. The administrator is 256-772. 8491 06